Welcome, fellow Emergineers. Derek Rydell here, founder of the Law of Emergence, Awakened Wealth. And it's just really an honor to be with you here again today, tonight, <laughs> tomorrow, wherever you are in the time zone or even if you're in the timeless. And we're going to talk today about what I call the greatest love of all and the secret to truly empowered relationship. And this is an interesting topic, and it's something we've been talking about a little bit in terms of understanding the shadow work and how how the shadow dancing happens between each other. And for those of you that are new and for those of you that, that aren't, I think it really is important to go a little deeper into this this topic to really understand what's going on in our life, what's going on in our relationships, and to understand that it's all going on in our consciousness. That whatever pushes or pulls us in the world is a projection of our unintegrated potential, of our unintegrated power, or even undiscovered power. And that all of life really is a mirror. It really is a Rorschach test. You know, those ink blots where the therapist has you look at a, a, a card with just a splash of ink on it and asks you what you see in that. And one person will look at that ink blot and see a fire-breathing dragon. Another person will look at that ink blot and see a, a pink unicorn. Another person will look at that ink blot and see their mother. <laughs> So it's not telling the therapist what's in the ink blot. It's telling them what's in the, the individual's consciousness, what's in their mind, what are they seeing, what filters are they seeing through. It tells them the content of their consciousness. And for better or for worse, and I believe it's truly for the best, our relationships and what we see in the world and what we see in each other is largely not telling us what we see in each other, but what, we, what is really happening within us. And, uh, you know, if you've heard that, that term, you know, intimacy, the deepest level of intimacy, if you break that word down, into me I see. Into me I see. And so in our most intimate relationships, we get the opportunity to see into ourselves in the deepest way. And... Ultimately, we do come to the realization that the greatest love of all, really the only love that's really going on, is the love of ourself, the love with ourself, and ultimately the love of the self with a capital S. That we're not in any relationship, that all of our relationships are in us. That life is like a collective dream for each individual and just as in a dream, all the characters are just parts of you. Likewise, in this dream of life, all the characters are just parts of you. And this might, on another level, sound kind of lonely. And there is a gate we all must pass through as we grow spiritually, this existential realization of aloneness. That fundamentally, we are alone. Alone with ourselves. Alone with our divine self, alone with our God, alone with our mind, our heart, our consciousness. But if you look at the word alone, you also see that it, it also says all one. And so, and, and ultimately, <clears throat> you can still experience the joy and the pleasure of relationship, but no longer the drama and the conflict of separation, as one of my mentors, Michael Beckwith, calls it, the friction of the fictions, meaning this friction that happens between these fictional identities, this sense of separation, the sense of separate characters in this divine drama. You begin to move out of that and <clears throat> come into this realization of aloneness or all oneness, come into this deeper intimacy where you can truly say, into me, I see. And all of your relationships then take on the glow and the harmony and, and the bliss and even the ecstasy of your true divine nature, of your eternal nature, of ultimately even unconditional love. 
And also when you're in a relationship for a while, what starts to happen is you begin to shadow dance. And what that means is that now some of the core shadows, the core unrealized, undiscovered, un